How are you doing? Very good. You're looking good. Thank you. Uh, are, we, are we speeding? I think we've been since you were in the hallway. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all um, good stuff. <laughs> so, Jim, uh, extreme, extreme magic? Yes, exactly. What is that? Could you tell us? It was the only kind of magic I would be able to do, you know? Yeah, it's the cutting edge, the, literally the cutting edge. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was kind of a metaphor for what's going on in the world and what people seem to want to view now. You know, is that kind of masochistic, you know, people jumping off of things and landing on their heads and skateboarding their faces into the pavement, that kind of thing. So he was like Chris Angel and David Blaine, the next generation with a little jackass thrown in, you know, a little masochism. So he rises up from the street to yes. take over Vegas? <clears throat> yes, exactly. He, he feigns disinterest, but, uh, but he really wants what they have. He wants to be on top like everybody else, you know? But uh, he, uh, he acts like, he, like one of those guys that like mess their hair for three hours and just so that they look like they don't care. How do you get into this character? I mean, he's a, he's a wonderful character. He's, he's sort of in love with himself. And it, yes. How, how, do, how do you find him? I just have to drop the act and be myself. Uh, <clears throat> I love making fun of ego, you know, and uh, to me he was like, and it had a lot to do with that wig. When that wig went on, uh, my character changed completely, and that happens to me a lot. With a little piece of hair, or a little piece of anything, you suddenly have a completely different inner life. And he became the guy who is uh, just uh, taken over by his own Christ complex and uh, thinks himself completely superior. And, and in a really kind of manipulative way is trying to undermine everyone else's confidence, you know, in, in a really fun, head-tripping way. How close is this a world of uh, magic in Vegas to, uh, to the world of entertainment in Los Angeles? <laughs> well, I think it's, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting, especially the, 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 the comparison of this movie and what really goes on in Vegas. You know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the magicians, you know, they really are competitive. You know, they'll, they'll say, oh, no, I like them all. But if you ask them specifically about them, they'll start to go, yeah, but that was a hacky trick. I'm not, I'm not, whatever. I'm much better than this. They're, they, they, you know, Coke doesn't party with Pepsi. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't mix, you know? So, so you think L.A. is less competitive? Uh, no, L.A. is majorly competitive, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, I've never really worked from that space myself because I, I, can't, I can't create in a competitive environment. As soon as you call it a contest, my brain goes blank and... You know, the, the creative gods go, hmm, not into it, sorry. <laughs> can't, can, can't you give me nothing? You know, no, no. Do you feel, sometimes, do you feel pressure <laughs> to, oh, yeah. to please your fans? Uh, <coughs> if you weren't sitting here being an actor, what would you be doing, you think? What would I be doing if I wasn't acting? Um, hmm. I'd probably... I'd be an artist for sure. I, I paint now and I sculpt and everything, but to me it's all sculpting. You know, it, there's no, very little difference. You know, between coming up with a character and coming up with a sculpture. You know, it's uh, it's kind of figuring out what the essence is and what you're trying to say, and then building from there, or, or chiseling away layers until you find the guy. You know, so I'd be an artist for sure. I know I couldn't do anything left brain. I couldn't sit behind a desk and, you know, deal with facts and figures or whatever. People would never get the right change <laughs> if I was behind a counter. There's no way. Now, Steve is a kind of different uh, comedian than you as well. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of, where, where does, where, how is this comedy different than yours, would you say? Well, I, I think, you know, he's, he's really good at kind of like having this uh, uh, being put upon thing. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes he plays a, a, a person of d dumb arrogance really well, <laughs> you know, as in The Office, you know, uh, where he thinks he has the answers, but he doesn't. That's always fun. But he, I think he's one of the great comic actors ever. I mean, so, you know, do, being able to work with him, too, is great. You know, I, I, I love that. I've, I'm much more kind of uh, micromanaging my life now, and I, I want to just jump in with the people I love and, you know, do these characters and have fun with it, you know? So as well as doing my own projects, I love jumping in with these guys.